So let's rub our hands together. We're doing a little self-applied massage before we go into different beings. So clap, thank you brain. Imagine all your brain cells waking up, ready to receive. And the springtime is an important time for the brain. We want to go back to that child brain where everything is new and we don't have a lot of history to judge from. So thank you. Wake up, child mind. Bring the fingers to the forehead. And then let's wake up the third eye. So right in between your eyebrows, take a deep breath, close your eyes. But imagine the third eye opening and breathe light in through your mind. Thank you, intuition. Go to the temples, close your eyes. Let's thank you, eyes. Notice what you see. Thank you, nose and cheeks. Tap beneath the nose above the upper lip. Thank you, gums and teeth. And then tap beneath the bottom lip for the the TMJ, the jaw. <gasps> nice deep breath. <sighs> Exhale with a sigh. Oof, what a different world it is from a couple weeks ago, right? Oof. So our, our bodies have been under stress, change, adapting, being creative. And then let's come to the temples also and blow out through your mouth. As you, when you blow out through your mouth, you're releasing tension. I like to imagine it as dark smoke. <sighs> let's make fists and come on to the back of the neck. Thank you, neck. We're just doing a short little overall massage today to get the blood and that chi flowing. Take your fingertips and stroke your throat. Tap your lungs, nice sharp little jabs to dispel toxins. Onto the heart area, the thymus on the breastbone. And then take a hand up over the shoulder. Tell yourself you're a beautiful human. And then let's rub down. When we rub the arms, it's called rubbing the tree. But if you like to pat, that's fine too. Pat the tree. Rub your hands like you're washing them. And then stroke from elbow to bottom of the rib cage, very lightly. Thank you, breasts. Thank you, mammary glands. Thank you, lymph glands. And then tap over on the other side. Rub your shoulder, your arm. Just like you're giving yourself a nice big scrub. Thank you, hands, and then brush. And for those of you who have shoulder issues, you know, just fine to keep, you don't have to ever lift your arm up. You know, I, I expect you to take care of yourselves. I'll show different modifications as we go. Uh, let's thank our digestive organs. I don't know about you, but um, you know, over here, we're having some really nice meals. <laughs> A little more time to think about it and prepare. So thank you, digestive system. Let's rub our um, ribs. I'll be your mirror, so on your right side. We'll be working with the liver a lot today. The liver is the organ associated with springtime, associated with wood. And your spleen is on your left side. And then let's rub the kidneys. Thank you, kidneys. The kidneys are probably in overdrive. Uh, that's where the adrenal glands are, the fight or flight, figuring out our, our new realities. And the kidneys also house uh, your life force. So it's good to rub the kidneys to get the life force to flow through your body. And you can come down onto your glutes, hips. Let's rub our legs all the way down. Give your thighs a good rub, all of all different sides, front side, back side, inside, outside. Give the knees a nice rub all the way down to your ankles. And then tap your feet. Thank you feet, thank you legs, thank you knees. Thank you, body. And then stand for a moment and close your eyes and notice what you feel. And take a deep breath as you thank your body. And we're going to start with uh, cleaning the temple, uh, the spring cleaning, <laughs> a little bit. So we're going to clear out our bodies. And uh, this is a really easy exercise. Let's reach down to the feet, down to the earth, and come up 
all the way up and then up overhead. Stretch, stretch your arms out to the side. And we're cleaning the temple. We will use the imagery of water, flushing our bodies. Take your time, deep breath. And exhale, make yourself as big as you can. Let's reach in for water. Imagine the geyser flowing up, flushing your body of toxins, flushing your heart of emotions, flushing your mind of thoughts. Let them all go. Let's inhale to the heart, up to the head, and exhale. And last one. And let's, this time, let's bring the energy of fertile soil, new beginnings. Kind of where we're at right now. Everything's new. And we're going to reverse it, working with the yang energy. So let's reach for the light of heaven, the insight and knowledge, universal wisdom, and bathe yourself. Soften all your muscles so your body can receive. Inhale up. And soften. Imagine stress and tension flowing out of your body. And go your speed, whatever feels right for you today. Let go of pain. Let go of stress, tension, anxiety, worry. Let it go. Last two. Imagine bathing yourself with the light of trillions of stars. Imagine them flowing into your mind, into your neck and shoulders, into all your organs, and down to your fingertips and down to your toes. And give yourself a little shake. We're gonna come into tree pose. Look down and make sure your feet are pointed forward. They're not out to the side. Sink into your knees slightly and your tailbone is straight down. And bring your hands up to about the solar plexus. If you want higher, that's okay. If you want lower, that's all right. But we're going to stay here in tree pose for a while. And at any time, feel free to lower your hands. But it, tree pose is a strengthening pose. It's an aligning pose, and it's also an endurance pose, I think. Take a deep breath into your heart, and imagine sending the energy down into your feet, and let your feet begin to go into the earth. Send your roots deep into the earth. Imagine your roots absorbing the vitamins and minerals of the soil and take a deep breath and breathe that energy up into your heart. And let your heart pump vitamins and minerals into your bloodstream. Take a deep breath and send your roots even deeper with the exhale. Deeper, the roots spread out. They commingle with other roots. The trees communicate with each other via their roots. and it helps us to connect to Mother Earth. This next breath, let your roots go down to the heart of Mother Earth, connecting with the compassionate, kind, loving nature of our planet. And then bring your awareness to the top of your head, the top of your tree, and lengthen, tuck your chin slightly, and let the crown of the head reach towards the sun, to the moon and the stars. And we connect to heaven energy, the energy of universal consciousness. And then open your heart as you smile to your heart. And here we connect to nature all around us. I am thrilled and I have this big palm tree. It's a squatty low palm tree in my front yard. And a family of doves have made a nest in it. And it's only about 12 feet above us. And every night they, are practicing flying and the parents bring the, the little, little baby doves some food. It's just, just lovely. 
So, you know, your tree can be nurturing to others, home to lots of creatures, and smile to the energy of all living things. Now, scan your body. We've been standing here for a couple of minutes. Where can you relax? The tree is a great exercise to practice in the springtime because it helps to ground us into the earth, especially we need that right now. We, it, the tree teaches us to be flexible. So a big change comes, the winds of change. I love that expression. We don't blow over since we're really rooted into the earth. Let's stay here for three more deep breaths, becoming the most beautiful tree you can imagine. We have the mighty oaks here in California. They're just strong and gorgeous branches. And then let's open our branches. So the arms come straight out. And we're gonna do tree blows in the breeze. And with the inhale, the arm comes up. And then exhale. Other side, inhale. This is a nice side bend. Inhale. And follow your breath. Let's do three more. You should feel your rib cage opening, your waist stretching. Maybe you, you can even feel a little bit into the hip socket. Last one this way. And now the tree gets blown by the breeze. Let's come up. This time we're gonna bend the knees, bring the hands down towards the earth, and then open your Right arm comes across and open wide. Inhale, other side. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let yourself go loose. And let's do one more on each side. I'm not sure which tree this one is. Pretty flexible tree. Now we're gonna stick with trees because they have such variety. When it's, we have a lot of eucalyptus around here. And so the eucalyptus have very supple branches. And so I invite you to lift up and do uh, circles if you like different directions. This is a little bit of spontaneous qigong. I love the eucalyptus because I watch them and their, their branches intertwine and they dance. And so let yourself go. Just, we had some big winds here a couple weeks ago and I was just entranced watching the ballet of the eucalyptus coming up and down. This, you know those blow up uh, air dolls that are in front of car dealerships that kind of come down and then they come up. I like to imagine I'm one of those sometimes. And let's do just a couple more, 10 more seconds of eucalyptus tree. Very subtle, very soft, very uh, flexible. And then bring it, the hands back down. And take a deep breath. We're going to do a couple of different trees because I really like what they do for the spine. So the next tree we're going to do is willow tree. And the willow branches go down. So imagine we're going to do a forward fold. And here, wobble your shoulders. You can do shoulder rolls. You can swing your arms from side to side. Deep breath. Shake your head. Feel the length of your neck and even tuck your chin up a little bit. And then let yourself hang. Imagine there's no wind. Beautiful willow tree. And then a little breeze, shift the weight from one side to the other side. Just watch what happens with your hands and your arms and your body. 
and then let's wiggle ourselves back up to standing. We're going to do one more tree. I used to live up in the mountains and we had a lot of aspen. And the aspen in the fall, they quiver. Their branches don't move too much, but their leaves quiver. So let's start a quiver. And then bring the quiver into your whole arm. Bring the quiver into your shoulders and your belly. And now I'm shaking my tail. Bring the quiver to your whole body. And we'll do this for about 12 seconds. It's, it's very fatiguing. Halfway there. And then release. Whew. And place your hands on your lower dantian again and take a nice deep breath and enjoy the sensation of everything in your body moved and was shaken. Hmm. And then give yourself a little shake. So you can see how the wood element uh, can really teach us how to move differently when we emulate different trees. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can email me or tell me after class if you have a favorite tree. What, is, what does that look like? You know, the palm trees, the kind of like the eucalyptus. I was thinking about that one too. Um, but then let's go back to strong standing tree to remind us how strong we are and how flexible we can be. So deep breath, send your roots back down. Let the head float high, tuck your chin, and imagine you're standing facing the morning sun. The morning sun in the east is the direction for the element of wood. So it's the energy of the new day, the energy of springtime, the energy of youthful energy, youthful minds, youthful bodies new beginning. So take a deep breath as you imagine you're bringing in the energy of the morning sun. And soften your body. Let it flow. When we're tight, the energy can't get to where it needs to go. So just imagine. And the color of wood and associated with the wood element and the liver is the color green. So imagine you're being bathed in spring green. Breathe it in through your skin. Let it pass into your organs. And then your liver is on the right side underneath your rib cage. And it's a big fleshy organ. Take a deep breath and breathe the color spring green into your liver. This will help to clarify and purify your blood and thank your liver. One more deep breath, breathing in green color of springtime. Bring your awareness back to your tree, lengthen the spine. See if you can find more space in your vertebra. Tailbone is heavy, head is light. So there's traction, a sense of be feeling heavy and grounded towards the earth, but then the head and upper body is lifting up towards the sky. And smile to your youthful self and bring that youthful energy into your mind today and your body. The youthful minds aren't jaded by experience and judgments. They are open to everything. Think of when you were a child, every day, everything was new. And that's kind of where we are right now. The springtime and the effects of uh, our, our social isolation, we have to reinvent and create. And so spring is a time for change, letting go of the old, cleaning it out and welcoming the new. So let's take a deep breath as we welcome change and the newness. And then let's bring the hands into the belly. And it's the energy of the flowers coming up the bulbs coming up through the soil, up through the topsoil, and then blooming like a beautiful California poppy. 
and they're open all day. Stretch your fingers, stretch your arms away from your body, gathering the sun, the moon, the stars, and then let's we close our petals at night and we bring the energy of the sky and rest through our bodies. And let's take out. There's a couple different animals associated with springtime with the energy of wood. And one of them is the deer. And we're going to do some deer series. Um, so imagine you have hooved feet. And you, deer is especially great for the legs. We have thick barrel-like bodies. We have big, big necks, you know, big. And then we have uh, 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 snouts. And we're gonna start with female deer. And I like to invite the spirit of the animal into my body and my heart and mind as we, we practice, because I want to honor them. And we sort of become the deer in this one. So let's reach out for grace and beauty and gather the energy of grace and beauty and put it into the physical energy center of our body. For being kind, compassionate, and caring, we take care of our herd, and so we bring that area in, and bring that in to your belly. And then reach out for strong body, able to leap over fences and creeks, and then inhale up to the heart, up to the mind, and surround yourself with the beautiful energy of the deer. Shift your weight onto your left foot and your right foot goes onto the ground, but it's, you're not leaning forward. The weight is on the back leg. Uh-oh, I don't know if you can hear my neighbor's dogs. <laughs> they, they got something going on. All right, back to the deer. So let's inhale the deer energy to the heart and bring your hands on either side of your head. And if you can, sink into your back leg. Drop your shoulders, drop your elbows. This is called meditating deer. And we'll stay here for several breaths. You can see it's a balance and strengthening exercise. It's kind of like the deer in the headlights. They freeze. Now let's shift the weight onto the front leg. The front leg bends. The back leg is straight. Pull your elbows down so you lengthen, you feel length in the neck. And push out through your back heel so you feel a stretch. And then the deer looks around. We look behind us, twist to your right, as if you were looking to find the baby deer that may be lagging behind. This is a really good stretch. Your liver is being compressed and squeezed, and the organs on your left side of the body are getting a nice stretch for the spleen and pancreas and stomach. Let's come back to neutral, so come face me. And place your left hand on your left hip. Sink back into the back leg so now the front leg is straight. And we do the deer does a curtsy. Bring the hand to the knee, the shin, the, the ankle, the foot, wherever you want. You want to feel a nice stretch behind your front leg. And relax. Breathe into your hamstrings. Breathe into your glutes. Imagine nice long muscles. And then let's come back up to neutral. Let's gather the grace and beauty of the deer and step back. And we'll do the other side, unweighted step. Bring your, I think, I think these are deer ears. You know, you can, you know how the deers, they listen. Sink into your back leg. Drop your shoulders, elbows. Meditating deer on this side. So 
One more deep breath here. And then let's shift the weight onto the front leg. Bend the front leg, push out through your back foot. Relax your neck. See if you can lengthen the neck by tucking your chin slightly. Pulling down with the elbows and shoulders. Stretch out through your back heel. And then let's twist. The liver is getting nice massage. One more deep breath here. Kind of a challenge to stay like this. Good for balance. And then let's come back to neutral. Hand on the hip. Sink into your back foot as you do the deer does a curtsy. Breathe into your hamstrings. Your glutes. Feel them soften and lengthen and relax. The deer is kind of like yoga. You do these long, intense stretches and hold the poses. And then let's come up, gather the female energy, nurturing, nurturing yourself, nurturing your family, bring it into your lower dantian. And then let's go into male deer. Male deer is a whole different beast, you know taking care of business, taking care of the herd, you know, fighting to be the, the male. So lots of testosterone. We practice male deer for virility, vitality, for taking care of what's ours, you know, protecting ourselves. So we start off by making fists. Let's see, good. Um, if you have shoulder issues, keep your hands by, we're gonna open up our antlers. Uh, if you don't have shoulder issues, you can bring them high, but if you do, keep them low. So think about, oh, all that testosterone running through you, taking care of your, all your females and your, your babies. Shift the weight onto your left foot and lift the heel of your right foot. And let's bring the fists up to your head or overhead and then open. We're opening our antlers. Gather that male energy, shift the weight. Let's inhale, lift the opposite heel, exhale. So it's dynamic. Inhale. And you, if you have shoulder issues, keep them here. That's just fine. So level one, we keep the foot on the ground. We keep a toe on the ground. Level two, we begin to hover. It doesn't have to be high. You can always put the foot back down should you need to. But play with balance. You know, sometimes the deer falls over, so that's all right. Level three, you float the knee up to the sky. Feel strong. Let's do two more each side, bringing virility, vitality, some of that male energy, taking care of business, being strong and powerful. And the male deers lose their antlers. It's just for springtime, you know, attract the females. So let's do one more each side, whatever level feels good to you, and be your sexiest deer. Big antlers. Got to attract all the ladies. And then bring your hands into your belly and give your deer tail a little shake. And good. So we're going to do one more deer exercise. It's called walking deer. And it's um, a very challenging balance exercise, but I like it. The hands are here, our little ears, and let's start with the left foot, and we lift up, and we cross over the right, and then we twist to the left. So this is a big stretch, big uh, stretch for your uh, kidney, I'm sorry, your liver. Look forward. Take the back foot, bring it around, lift it up, cross, and twist to your right. 
come back to center. Lift, cross, twist. Inhale back to center. Lift, cross, twist. Come back to center. Let's do two more. You can see it's tricky. Back to center. And then let's come back to center. And place your hands on your lower dantian. And close your eyes for a moment. Notice how you feel. That last uh, deer walking is pretty intense for the hips and the back, big twists, also for balance. So smile. Be the baby deer, or mama deer, or papa deer. And thank your inner deer. And then shake it out. I want to go into a little bit of the emotional components for um, associated with wood and the liver. And the liver in Chinese medicine is associated with, well, uh, the, I would consider negative aspects of anger, frustration, resentment, envy, greed, all of that stuff. Um, and so sure, that might apply. You know, we've, we've lost our lives as we've known it. Of them to be. There might be a little frustration, there might be a little anger um, towards life in general. Um, so if you have any of that, we're going to practice these exercises to rid those emotions from our bodies. And we want to bring in the energy of forgiveness. So if you're mad at yourself, you can forgive yourself, forgiving others. Uh, kindness um flexibility you know it takes a lot of flexibility to forgive and to get over stuff so um this is a, one of my favorite exercises for the liver and it's called punching with an angry glare so the feet are about a little wider than hip distance you're sinking into your knee kind of like tree pose a little bit and the fists come to the waist and we're going to start slow with your left hand punch and there's a little twist in the torso and I punch and I release my hand so I'm letting go of anger and then I rotate the hand and I grab forgiveness and with the breath exhale let go of frustration and let's gather peace of mind let go of rigidity and let's gather flexibility. Let go of judgments. And breathe in accepting what is. Let go of grief. And breathe in, I accept what is with courage, strength, and dignity. Let go of rigidity. In, and flexibility can't change and let's embrace change how are we going to use it how are we going to flourish we're going to do one more each side kind of slow bring in what you need and then punch bring in what you need and now we're going to start to go a little faster and notice i'm bending and straightening my legs punch let it go punch this is also known as releasing worry. So all of our worries or fears, just let them go for now. And we're gonna go faster. It pumps our heart a little bit. And then go as fast as you can. And if you want, turn it into a blither. Ah, make fists. We're gonna hold up all of our frustrations and anger, resentment, greed, envy. And then Take your fist, shake, 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 and throw it away. Grab it, shake it. Any thoughts in your mind? Let's do this up at the head. Any thoughts or beliefs that we are making us crazy right now? Throw them away. Let's grab any emotions. So we all have a little fear of the unknown. When's this going to end? Worry. Let's throw it away. 
and then in our body, shake it. So if you have aches or pains or cold or sickness, and then throw it away. One more time, let's, let's swirl the clouds, gathering all the energy of the sky, gathering all the energy of all around us into the earth. We'll grab it into a ball, make fists one last time, shake it out, and then punch, inhale. Feel the energy leaving your body and pull your intention back in. We'll do two more each side. What do you need? Bring it in. I like to make a whooshing sound. It's just fun for me. All that old energy that's in my body. And now this time we're gonna punch with both hands out and receive peace, trust, wisdom, and let's bring it right back into the belly. Surround ourselves with peace and clarity, patience. Close your eyes for a moment and let yourself drift. And then open the eyes and bring the feet a little closer together. Another animal that is associated with springtime is the snake. And the snake represents medicinal qualities, transforming energies, uh, miracles even. The, sh the snake teaches us how to let go of our old skin. You know, we evolve, we become different people. So it teaches, it helps us. But it also is really good for um, spinal flexibility. So it's a great exercise for the spine. So think about your snake tail. And I guess today I'm kind of a pink snake. So you can be whatever snake you want to be, long spine. And then let your hands come out to the side and bring them in towards the center. Let your left hip go out to the left. And then the, hand, the snake head goes out to the right. This is a pretty good stretch. And then bring the hands closer into the heart. And now right hip out, left hand, or the hand goes out to the left. And bring it to center. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Let's do one more each side. And now stick your tail out. So there's like, it's like a little bow. Um, your legs can be bent or straight. This is called the snake slithers through the grass. Shift your weight onto your right leg and the hands go to the right and to the left and to the right. And then you'll notice you feel this in your hips, like they're making an infinity sign, the figure eight. You'll feel this in your knees as you shift. And then let your hands Slither in front of you. Watch your hands as you're slithering through the grass. Let's do two more each side. So you can see the animal frolics really do work the body. And then let's come back to center. This time the snake is going to climb up the column of your spinal column. So imagine the snake working its way up through your spine. This exercise is called the snake spits out the poison. So as it gobbles up any pain, worry, anything that doesn't belong in your body, it comes up to your head and there it gobbles up dark thoughts. And then let the, if your shoulders are compromised, this is as far as you go. Otherwise, let your arms come up and you'll feel a big side stretch. And then pause at the top 
stretch, inhale, open the arms, and blow out through your mouth, spitting out the poison. Let's bring in the medicine. And we slither back down through the head, through your spine, all the way down to the tail. And we're going to climb up again. So imagine if you have hip pain, lower back pain, the snake is gobbling it up. You can go as fast or slow as you like. I kind of sometimes, I like sometimes to really go fast and other times slow. So feel free to play with it. Gathering up anything that you don't need anymore. And then we're going to get ready to spit out the poison. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, medicine. Medicine that you need, your snake. Bring it down. Let your head flop from side to side. And then bring the snake head back to your heart. So just a little bit more snake. This is called striking snake. And striking snake, we practice to work our fast twitch muscles. And the fast twitch muscles of the arms are these right here. Like if we're going to fall, whoa, you know, we put our hands out. So it's practicing getting the hands out. When we do striking snake, you don't want to hyperextend your arms. You're going to stop with bent elbows. But so first we make the snake head, bring the fingers and thumbs together and coil. So coil into your shoulders, feel your shoulders get tight, biceps, triceps, pectoral muscles, the back, and then strike. Inhale. Inhale. Again. And so sometimes we might be in a hallway we trip or there might be something next to us, so out to the side. And then maybe down in front, if there's you're walking in your living room and there's a chair or a sofa, you can put your hands on it. Let's do three more. Working the fast twitch muscles. And good. There's another snake called uh, Snake Climbs the Column. Um, you can bring your hands overhead if that's not too hard or if it, your back is, your shoulders are fine, bring them overhead and then twist from your tailbone. And imagine the snake is twisting around a column and the column is your spine. So it's a really big twist. And then begin to unwind. Take a big breath in. This one will stretch your liver. And then unwind. This is great for our energy meridians. It kind of twists them shut. They seal them shut. It's like keep putting a kink in a hose. And then we unwind. There's a flush of energy, a surge of energy through our bodies. Let's do one more each side, or just this one side. And unwind. Let the hands come down. Last snake exercise is uh, rattlesnake. So we're going to shake our, our tails. And at the same time, we make a hissing sound. Let the shake come into your whole body. And that hissing sound is actually one of the healing sounds for the liver. I know two different healing sounds for the liver. So we shake out any anger, frustration, rigidity, shake, shake. Let's do two more deep breaths. Shake it out. And then good. And relax. Place your hands on your belly. And lengthen from the tip of your tail up to the top of your head. Chuck your chin. Where can you relax? Now, doing that shaking is vigorous. Our body tightens up. And with the snake, it was pretty tight. So we want to soften the face, soften the neck and shoulders, soften the chest, 
Let the arm muscles be soft and heavy. Relax your tummy. Relax your glutes. Let your bones hold you up. Relax your thighs. Now we're going to do another healing sound. Healing sounds are great because they send vibration to our organs and they also allow us to take full, deep, slow breaths. So let's put both hands on your right rib cage. Here we're connecting with the liver and it's, uh, this, this, that is the yin of uh, the, this organ. And then the yang is the gallbladder. So we're gonna balance out our liver and gallbladder. The sound is shu. And take a deep breath in, and we're gonna chant shu. 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 Do two more and go make it as long as you can. Take your time. Thank your liver and your gallbladder. Breathe in, forgiving yourself. Letting go of grudges and forgiving others. And breathe kindness for yourself and others. Kind nature, nature of the deer. And breathe flexibility into every cell of your body. This is a good time to be flexible, go with the flow, be a good human, and then relax. And we're going to end today with some affirmations using the energy of the East. So where I am, uh, the East is over here. Where, wherever you are, um, all we're, we're quite, what the exercise we're gonna do is called marrow bathing or marrow washing. And the exercise is we're going to gather from earth, life, and heaven and bring the energy into the body. So it's a very simple exercise. So you'll be able to hear me, but I invite you to face the east, that morning sun. And let's reach into the earth, and out to life and up to heaven and bathe ourselves with new beginnings new ways of doing things. And as we reach down, you can go at your speed, but each time you reach out, you're gathering the energy of the East, the youthful energy of springtime, the youthful energy of children, the beginnings of projects and relationships, And we bring in that acceptance and being open. Get our creative juices flowing. I especially like the youthful energy of not only the body, but of the open mind. Not afraid to explore and try new things. You know, children, they just do it. They're not worried about what they look like. They just, you ask a group of children to sing, they sing. You ask adults to sing, they might get a little, well, probably not any of you, because you all practice Qigong and Tai Chi. 
And let's do three more. Let the energy flow into your cell, your blood, your organs. Bringing in what you need today. And all together, I want to reach out and gather the energy of health and vigor, vitality, and staying that way. So imagine white light flowing down all around you, protecting you as if you were in a protective cocoon. So we're going to stay healthy. And bring your hands to your heart. You can turn back if you were. This energy is flexible and going with the flow, the springtime energy, the energy of tree, wood, forgiveness, kindness. We've been cultivating this the last hour. Let's take a deep breath and we're going to send it into the world. So from your heart, your mind, release. Let's go deep into Mother Earth. Sending her love and healing out into the world and let it go to people that you need that might need it more than others. All of the wonderful people who are in the hospitals, helping others, the doctors, the nurses, everyone, everyone. Let them be safe and healthy. And let's do one more. And gather from each other. Everybody in this class today, bring the energy right into your heart. We don't want to deplete ourselves, so we don't want to send out too much energy. Breathe it in deeply. And then hands to the lower dantian. Thank you, body. Thank you for being strong and healthy, for having a good immune system, being resistant to any virus. Thank you, body. And then let's bring the hands up to the heart. And thank you, thoughts and emotions. May, my thought, may our thoughts be clear and helpful. May our emotions be calm and loving, patient. And then hands up to the third eye and smile to your spirit. Imagine your spirit is hugging you. You feel the warmth and light. This, your spirit is your best self, your gifts. Loves you so much. Thank you, spirit. And then let's bring the hands overhead as we let our spirits merge with all spirits and the greater spirit, all part of the same world here. Bring your hands to your heart and give yourself a little bow for joining me with the animals and uh, the elements today. And